Hello and welcome back to Homebody. Excited to jump back into this and see how I managed this time. I had to like edit the uh, VOD and so I got to rewatch some bits and I'm kind of have some ideas of possibly what to do, but we'll find out. I don't know why I didn't take my controller out when I started this, but you know, sometimes I just don't think. Also, let's see if I can keep my cursor off the screen this time. I don't know why it was over there that one day. Or that- for that one bit. One day. Yeah, it was like weirdly there the whole time. Like for a whole scene that I- I don't know why. Okay. Wanna look at some stuff. It's a button, I need to get the yellow cable going. Also, yes, you'll hear my cat scratching at the door. Power box isn't powered on. There's yellow and black stripe cable coming. Bottom box. The yellow cable is up the side. Right side. Into the ceiling. Okay, so I have to go do that first. Uh, if you hear my cat, he's not allowed in here because he pees on the floor. Someday maybe I'll bring him in for people to see, but not right now. Uh, is it 278? 278. Two, seven, eight. I was expecting the garage door to open. It's just casually waiting. Also, again, if I manage to finish this too quick, I have backup games. I don't know where I what I would do necessarily, but I got backup games. But I don't know how long this game may or may not go for. So like I said in previous episodes, I actually don't know uh, anything about this game other than what I learned in the last stream. I get I probably am missing something. Oh, I probably need a code to get it going. I doubt it, but... Okay. I can't get that puzzle working. And I have no idea how I got into the cage the one time I really lucked into it and I'm never doing it again. Not that I'm never going to try again, it's just never going to happen. Alright. It's just one thing I want to mess with. No. That I want to look into before I go too far. Go talk to some people, though. I think the last time, the last loop, we were in Emily's apartment. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a past meteor shower that they had come over for to see the Perseids or if like that's an alternate line like a timeline we could have taken where they all went to watch it with her instead but I don't know we'll find out I'm really digging the bits of story that's coming in from other areas Megan hey um does the wood of this place kind of give you the heebie-jeebies huh like the color no, I mean, the wood itself. It feels like hollow, brittle, a little soft, maybe? Oh, yeah. Cliff said earlier that it might be termites. He said that to me, too, but, like, damn, it feels worse than that. If I stand still for too long, I feel like I'm starting to sink into the floor. Like, it's soft and damp. There, you're just sitting on the floor. If you stand there for too long, you might fall in, but if you sit on the ground, it's fine. Ew tell me about it. What is happening? Later on, we're eating and watching a movie, but until then, I'm hoping to just sit here and game. Cliff's working on dinner right now, but he keeps saying he should be done soon. I want out of this place. Oh yeah, isn't it wild? It gives off major 7th guest vibes. I looked up 7th guest because I knew it was familiar. It is an FMV game, so real actors, and I saw Justin McElroy and I want to say it was an episode that also had Brian Dip uh, Brian Gilbert in it on uh, Polygon play it years ago and I knew it sounded familiar I hope Pete is okay I don't know none of us do it's it's so strange what is happening this is pretty much the plan sitting here in gaming Cliff's working on dinner right now, but he keeps saying it should be done soon. I'll talk to you again soon. Later. 
I felt like there was like less to talk about. I don't know. Let's see what it says today. It's a binder full of rules from the house's owner. I flipped through it a bit. It's open to a page of notes about fees for forgotten possessions being shipped back to us. For smaller items, the shipping fee includes a service fee with a multiplier based on weight. For larger items, the fee is an exponent. I don't know why I said ex exponent. Exponente. I don't know why I said that so weird. Exponent. Cliff! Look who's here. Hi, Emily. Uh, how's the trip been treating you so far? It's been okay. Deep enough into the woods outside, you open up into a clearing, and these jagged rocks come out of the ground, come out up out of the ground like gods' incisors. I've never seen so little light pollution. It's beautiful. Uh, sorry. There's a game that's about to go on for Mariners, and I, like a dum dum, didn't pull it up on my phone. Oh, it is going on. Anyway. Um, has it been good being around your, you know, your friends? Is people here in this building? Oh yeah, that. For the most part, yeah. Gary's been keeping you busy. Well, I actually want to go, do you see the others a lot these days? I know he's been hanging out with Gary a lot. Do you see the others a lot these days? I mean, plenty, sure. Megan and Gary are good friends, patient, good listeners, but absence doesn't necessarily make the heart grow fonder, you know? Francine, you mean? Look, I don't have a problem with Francine, but you don't, you don't have a problem with Francine? Or you don't have a problem? I don't know. Yeah. All right, fine. She's mean to me, but... You're mean to me, and I still like you. Shut up. Anyway, Francine's just been cold, I guess. Working through her own shit, maybe? I don't know. Lord knows I'm not treating her any differently than usual. Uh-huh. How have, um, things been with you? Th oh, okay, that's supposed to be Cliff asking me. Um... I've been hanging in there. That sucks. How was the drive? What did you do? Take the 80 most of the way? That, that's how I would have done it. <laughs> you don't want any details or any clarification about my life? Or a follow-up or anything? What? Cliff, I don't get it. Do you just not want to be close to other people? Sure. Get everybody nice and close. That way, you'll get the chance to stick the knife in, right? I love you, Cliff. You know, I feel the same way about you. Never change, Cliff. I know I was mean to you initially, but... I actually really like Cliff. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. As I've said before, I'm not great at slide puzzles. And as far as I know, I can't- I can only flip these back and forth. But, hang on, there's the teal wire? Where'd the teal wire go? Hi, Gary. That's blue. Teal go down here? Bye, Gary. No, I think teal went upstairs? I'm gonna try and figure out that that one. Because even though I don't think it'll holy shit, just end, um I don't wanna do the yellow one and act possibly just finish the game. Okay. So it has to be negative to negative, positive to positive. And looks like That maybe. So it looks like it, at least on their little diagram, it might go all the way over there, but I don't think it's gonna. Nah, no. Fuck 
fucking hell, whoever that was. Don't. Okay. Um. Uh-oh. No, I didn't mean to change you. Uh, uh, it's if I go from the bottom up. All right. Uh, well, power is out now. I can do that, but it's clearly not right. Okay. No. That doesn't help. Okay, so I guess it goes down. Okay, those touch. Enough? Don't know. Fuck, I messed it up. <laughs> Where'd you go? Slide puzzles. The killer's just gonna like appear over there while I'm just trying to figure out a puzzle. Ah. Okay, I can't do that right now. My brain refuses. Megan, hey. Gonna try and fix this. Okay. We're talkative today. Cliff? What's up? Can you explain the living room power box one more time? Sure. Let me try to simplify it for you. You can choose whether to send power to the yellow cable on the left or the teal cable on the right. You need to line up the connections on the tiles to form a continuous path from the terminals on the bottom to the batching pairs on either side. But you can only solve one side at a time. Just connect minus to minus and plus to plus, and as long as plus and minus don't directly connect to each other, you're good. Why are you so uh, curious about this? I didn't know. Uh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear you actually were interested in one of my hobbies. Uh, of course I'm interested in you, Cliff. Don't patronize me. So, if the front door needs power to open, and the power's out, who would design it that way? I guess we need to jury rig it. I think I answered this before, but, eh, good luck with that. Better try and figure out the situation. Okay. We're so wordy. Yeah, these two heavy gauge cables, one orange, one blue, lead from the ceiling and down to the floor. I don't know if I've seen exactly where those come from, though. Okay. Clock scared the fuck out of me. I thought it was someone walking by. Ramsine! Hey. Okay. Francine! What's up? This place sucks. It's an amazing place, but... It's really worrying that the power is out. I don't think we're ever going to see Pete again. Has anyone heard from Pete? I don't know. I miss him, but I'm sure he'll be fine. I hate this place. We gotta get out of here. Well, at least she's not... 
directly in my ear anymore. What's the plan for tonight? You need to get the power back on. If you can't, well, I suppose we can still enjoy the Perseids in the dark, right? Cliff was working on dinner in the kitchen, but now I suppose that won't be happening for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Okay, so... I hear him. <laughs> Gary, don't go that way. You're gonna die. Is anyone alive down here? Cliff? Cliff, hey. A Emily, I saw something in the house. Something that looked human? Had a knife, Emily. It's coming for us. Uh, I've been trying to tell you this the whole time. The fucking thing keeps killing us over and over. Every time I try to escape it, it just never works. I need your help. Please, listen to me. Oh no, we gotta get out of here. Oh, it's sighed again. We can do this, Emily. We just have to figure out the front door somehow. That's it. What the fuck is that awful sound? I don't know. I don't know. I knew we couldn't trust this place. We gotta get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna hide. Should I hide? Morph through you. Megan. Emily. Something feels seriously wrong here. I wish I could tell you you were being irrational. Oh my god. I was hoping talking to them might help me, but... What did I just step on? God. I need to figure out that slide puzzle. Are my friend's dead now. No. Try it doing away and actually pay attention to both. Okay. Megan, hey, Emily. I saw this awful thing in the house, blah, blah, blah. I know I'm scared too. We can do this, Just figure out the front door somehow. And that's all you have to say. Oh, there he is. Can you kill me while I'm in here? Yes, he can. Hey, my friends outlived me this time. And they had no reaction to me being stabbed to death. Well, that's nice of them. Alright, Pete, what you got for me? Hey, Emily. Okay. The power box in the living room is arcane as hell. But you can send power to the left or the right, depending on how you solve it. You'll need to send the power to the left if you want to unlock the front door. Just remember to talk to Cliff if you need any guidance. Good luck out there, Emily. That's all you have. Alright. First things first, I'm gonna go try and see where the teal cable leads, because I forget. And I only have a couple of hours before uh, that thing is alive, so. Alive. Active. Whichever. Francine! Remember that nursing home pamphlet, Francine? What was the title on that one? Glades of Grace? Melancholy Place. Pet friendly for piss, pa piss pad lap dogs only? Yeah, that was it. I was just thinking about how ridiculous that come to Jesus turn was. 
Think about that brochure a lot. It said that a family member passing is a moment of awe. Please. I think this is supposed to be Francine. I remember that. Pretty weird. As if watching someone straight up die is an amazing thing. They're confused and they're scared and it's small and sad and the room smells like rubbing alcohol and that's it and it's done. Man, I miss when that pamphlet was funny. What else did I find about Parker Nest? Um, an artist statement about the hydraulic pump in the house. Like the ones in the bathroom? Yeah, I think so. Turns out they're actually filled with blood? Blood? Like gallons of it? Now I just have my chemical romance stuck in my head. I guess not, but like a little bit of blood? So the people that lived in this house just wanted to put their signature on it? it? Seems that way. I think it's some kind of metaphor. Anyway, I guess this puts a point in the weirdo artist column instead of mad scientist column. Still weird though. How come you're spending all your time up in the study, Francine? Hmm? We're on a weekend trip with a group of friends we don't see that often. Everybody's downstairs enjoying an evening together and you're alone reading this guy's book collection. What's got you so interested in him? In Nest? I don't know. Just seems like he he's lived a fascinating life. I can't claim to have any particular interest in the culture he was part of, but there's something appealing about a primary source. We've got access to everything there is to know about him. Ugh. The answers are all here. It's been good seeing the other kids, but we'll have plenty more time together. I'm not going to be able to sit here and read these books forever. Found something else! Um, writing uh, the newspaper article writing about a uh, get-together with Net that Nest and his group had. From what it sounds like, I guess that's a happening. A thing where a bunch of literatis would gather and do drugs and perform. I don't really know all the ins and outs, but that's the impression that I get. Sounds like people would get up and present some pretty interesting art sometimes. But that's secondary. Pretty sure the drugs were the main attraction. Yeah. Lots of drinking and drugs in there, for sure. And near the end, Ness says he took some women up to the attic to show them his accumulator. Unless that's a double entendre. I'm guessing it's some sort of machine? Uh... Nothing good comes of a reclusive old man building something in his attic. Unless it's like a model train. Even then, it's debatable. Hold on. Is that story here in the house? I think so. What other house would it be? So does that mean the accumulator is here in this house? With us? Wait, the plans must be for the accumulator. What? Oh, the plans she came across. Okay. Gosh, what have we, what have we stumbled into? Um... Was there a straight up mad science happening in this house? No, so it was an artist, maybe it was for an installation. They used the accumulator as part of their like drug poetry crying orgies, right? Um, they used the accumulator. Right, it's some kind of spiritual healing device. Just one that makes people speak in tongues. I thought Nest was eats three almonds a day so he'll live to live forever, forever unusual. Not this, this is something else. Found something else. Sorry, it's un I forget what I've learned, so it's like reminding me and also giving us new words about Parker. A newspaper article about Nest and his group. And a picture of him in a struggling small business. Oh yeah, I read that one. He must have been pretty charismatic back then. I guess he still is now? There's just something about a man with followers that doesn't sit right with me. I have followers. Uh, it could just be the innocent 60s nerds doing their thing. I know it sounds like the start of a story that ends in mass suicide. Since I've never heard of him before, I guess everything went okay. Uh, yeah. Since I've never heard of him before, I guess everything went okay? I don't think many influential countercultural icons look good with the benefit of hindsight, but Ness seemed like a kind person. 
I'm choosing to take comfort in that right now. Anyway, it feels like it felt like Nest wasn't actually the star of the particular show. It seemed like his partner Clara was the actual mastermind. He asked me why I was so interested in Nest. How about you, Emily? Why are you doing so much digging? Uh, I feel like we're living in this guy's history, not to be mean, but it seems like there's some lessons to be learned here. I think it might be his fault we're trapped in an endless cycle of death. She won't say that one, so... I feel like we're living this guy's history. I can't help but be curious about him. It's a very sweet justification for this invasion of privacy. But Emily, you just got here. You haven't even unpacked your bag. Yeah, I should go... Unpack the, the stuff that I packed. Found something else. A creepy piece of writing about transformation. I think that might be what Clara wrote on the wall um, across from where the cage is. I saw that one. I think... I guess not. I think Nest left, left it out in hopes we would read it. Kind of insidious, isn't it? Talking about shedding the husk you're trapped in and becoming something new or whatever. It's it's pretty culty, yeah. At this point, I won't be surprised if you told me Nest was... Nest was up to something in this house. Uh, how's the trip been treating you so far? It's been good. A few wrinkles, but mostly good. Everybody's still basically themselves after all this time. Cliff's been a bit of a prick, but what else is new? And Gary and Megan have been getting... have really been getting along, though Megan has been mostly parked in front of that video game. Um... I'm bummed I have to cram so much into such a short trip. I'm already dreading another four hours in the car on Monday. By the way, I really do hope it isn't too stressful stressful for you to be out here in the middle of nowhere. I know how hard it can be for you to be trapped in places you're not familiar with. I'd rather be in here than outside, at least. Good point. The woods here are dark. But I guess that's kind of how I always feel about being outside. Like when we were trapped at the Brockridge Mall, remember? I've been through this. They built the mall's parking lot in a big basin, and you guys got stuck overnight because it flooded. It's not the same as, like, TVs. But back then, you were a real post for me to hitch myself to. You being there made that night manageable for me. Yeah, I wish I could, I wish I could count on you to get me through this one. Same. Do you know anything about the Clara that Nest is involved with? Was involved with. That At least that's what I think, based on the way he talks about her. Talked about her? When? When he was showing you the house? Yes. He couldn't stop bringing her up. Like, everything about the house reminded him of her. Did they... Are they family? Her name's Clara Jones. He said she had an engineering degree that they met in the art community in the late 60s. They had kind of an art collective, uh, they had kind of an art collective living here with them in the 70s and 80s. Very bohemian. They're not working together anymore? Nah. He talked in past tense. A lot of long, wistful looks. It was in their youth, he said. She dabbled in exploratory art installations, and he used his relationship with her to toy with what he called experimental areas in the realm of physics. Which means they were at the same parties. And on the same drugs, yes. But I think it went deeper than that. They worked together for years, and Clara helped Ness set up, an set up the electrical systems and security in the house. Apparently the whole art collective thing disintegrated a long time ago, before Ness became a recluse. Um, why does he still own this house if he never uses it? Ugh, too many memories, maybe? Or maybe the wiring isn't up to code. I don't know. The wiring's definitely not up to code because you can't get out of the fucking house if the power's off. In any case, Nest wasn't too eager to get into the specifics. I want out of this place. I don't think I find architecture pr particularly frightening. Oh, Pete is okay. Has anyone heard from Pete? I don't know. I miss him, but I'm sure he'll be fine. What is happening? What's the plan for tonight? We're watching a movie, enjoying the resources of the house. Clint is making dinner, but it's not going to be made because the power is out and we're all going to die in a couple of minutes. Uh, 
Oh, it's... No, there's the... Um, Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Flip switch. Making sure there's nothing that's clickable that I, like, missed before. Okay. There's that. Oh, it... No. It goes... To this. And then there's this. That I can't do anything with. Was this the poem? No, it's a manuscript page, but it still could. What happened to the computer? The computer's been smashed seemingly deliberately. How could this have happened? Yeah, it wasn't like that before. What was the flyer again? Oh, the... Okay. For the lock. Clara, someone will be coming by for the electronics company to do the installation. Have them set it up. Don't let them enter the attic. There's a door here later on. Okay, so it's not wild that I felt... I swore I hadn't seen it before. So when I was hiding in here, I saw it, and then I saw it uh, right at the end of my first playthrough. Or, er, my first, like, before I finished last, uh, last time. I was about to say how slow she was walking, and then I remembered I can sprint. Okay, I want to look at this weird toilet thing. It must be at 12 PSI always. Um. Damn it. Yeah. Nope. Okay, so this one is one. Okay, I'm gonna try something. So that's one. Oh, I got it! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I was, uh, so was starting to put numbers together, but apparently I accidentally solved it, so. Illitech brand static pressure pumps operations basics. Yeah, okay, so see, one is one, the other one was times five, so uh, multiplied it more. Every Illich brand st st static p pressure pump comes with a configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. Normal cylinders increase PSI output by one... Uh, per unit of fluid. Heavy duty cylinders, reinforced with a bulkier housing, increase PSI output by 5 per unit of fluid. Input fluid amount is displayed on the left. Output PSI values displayed on the right. That's all I get? How the hell did this even happen? Okay, I fixed the toilet. I didn't. I... Toilet's fucking busted. I know there's another one of these pumps downstairs. Is the door open yet? No, but it will be soon. I mean, even sooner right now, but... Alright. Because I don't think he comes from up here. Because I thought maybe he'd been coming from... Ugh. This room back here. But it's still shut when he's down here, so. Okay. So what I'm missing here is the amount I'm shooting for. Okay, so that one's one. Okay. 
so it won't reset itself because I'm missing something. Let me look at the plans again. Um, oh, actually, something I kept meaning to do once I realized I can flip pages is go back to the guest book. Uh, so this is Jonathan R. Stakes, 1976 to 1978. My stay in this haven for hooligans has been a joy. Despite the best efforts from inexplicable clangs upstairs, I was actually able to complete my manuscript in time here. My most humble thanks to Clara for her thoughtful critiques and to Parker for his theories on my work, which never failed to entertain. I will send you all copies for the study if I can ever publish the damn thing. I move out tomorrow. Might as well leave an autograph behind, though I highly doubt it will net you any money in any possible future. Maybe I'm just being sentimental. It's hard not to be in a place like this. Best wishes to all. Parks, you never did show me what you were working on in the attic. Dominica March. Spring to fall in 1981. You live in a place for so long that it becomes a part of you, I think. Oh, there's Clara. It's such an honor to have been here to breathe this dusty, rarefied air for such a significant chapter of my youth. The upstairs window glow from my heart. The upstairs windows glow from my heart now. I hope I've left some small imprint behind in return, other than the forgotten tchotchkes. I see you all from that sweet window, 1973 to 1982. I never was the best with words, but what you had here is very special. Take care. Dalton Rhodes, 1984 to 1986. I was here for a while. Welcome to my home. I hope it feels like your own for the duration of your stay. Kindly peruse the binder in the kitchen for an outline on keeping this old place in one piece. Remember to leave a review. It's the coolest Airbnb I've ever rented. Amy, summer 06. I love you forever. Mark, happy anniversary from Hannah. Quirky vibe. Loved it. Thank you. I don't know why this feels like a yearbook, but this place is cool. H-A-G-S. Have a great summer. Gary. Thank you for having video games. Megan. Nice to leave a written note for once. On real pa paper, even. Cliff. There's nothing over here clickable other than Cliff. Let's read the rules binder. Maybe something in there will kind of be interesting. So having a page of details on the best way to remove detritus from between couch cushions. It's not clear if this was something if this is something we're supposed to do before, during, or after our stay here. Uh, parking on the paved driveway, what, uh, separate fees incurred for power washing and motor oils, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's all these sticky notes, and I really wish I could click some of them. But there's, like, actually so little I can do. I am gonna turn that on. Just because killer supposed is gonna be around soon. Megan, talk to you again soon. Wow. Okay. Nothing. Nothing from you. Hey, Emily. Talk to you later. Wait, if the power's out. How's the oven working? Or stove? Okay. The fact that this is always stuck on 1030 stuck in my head, too. Okay. Garage or switch. Military time either. It's like nothing over there. There's nothing over here.
trying to hear him. That was kind of a cool shot. Oh, I didn't turn it on. Eh. Me and the ever shifting camera angles. Sticking on the power box has the drawing of a little sea urchin. Maybe one of those old nautical mines or something? Okay. sure to lure him this way. <laughs> Berlin, what killed you in the game? Oh, the camera flipping suddenly. I may be free to look in that room a little more. Oh, hi, Gary. It's Gary. He's dead. Blood is soaking through his clothes. That also wasn't on earlier. Parker, I've tempered my doubts about the accumulator up to this point, but a lightning rod? Really? This isn't some old movie serial. Even if electricity did work that way, what are you planning to use it for? Soon I'll just... Soon I'll be just as the modern pro, uh, Prometheus. Parker. Anything. Read schedule. A day with Parker. 4, rise. 405, cold shower. 415, copy paper ideation. 425, ideation. 5, end of the watch. Asterisk. Uh, 11, rise again. Re-energized. Hot shower... Pranayama, focus on the breath. 11.30 Zodson. Ruminating upon uh, Collins. Collins. Mostly regarding being uh, being beaten with a stick. 11.45 TM, focus on the intake and release of energy. 12. Accumulator cleaning and upkeep. 1300. Center my internal locus of control. Banish external negative energy. 13.15. Lunch. 13.45. Post-lunch walk. 1400. Ideation. 1800. Accumulator observation. Meditation. 1900. Automatic drawing. Exploratory stream of consciousness writing. Uh, uh, 20. 100. I always thought that felt weird to say, but nightcap. Old fashioned. Some grass, perhaps. 2200. Preparation for the liminal dreaming. Placing of bedstand journal for later transcription during the watch. An adaptation of Dolly's famous The Slumber with a Key technique on which I've iterated, involving repeated periods of wakefulness, a gentle flirtation with the beginning of state beginning stages of REM. There was once a natural medieval habit of second sleep and a period of wakefulness referred to as the watch between the first sleep and second sleep. This was, us uh, this was used as the most productive time of day in which a family accomplished most of their tasks. I adopted this practice for myself and find similar generative results. Results. So it's between the first and second sleep. Um. End of the watch. I'm not sure if any of these are standing out necessarily as something. Uh. 
hat's on now. Not sure if there's anything else I can get done. Salmon cartridge. What else can I maybe? Okay, he's summer. I was hoping I could turn that on and, like, use the hot metal against him or something, but I don't think I can kill him. Because I'm stuck in a loop. I need to get out. And I can't stand in here all day. It's Megan. She's dead. Cliff. I always read that when people die, they piss their pants. I'm so glad I didn't piss my pants. Wait, did I piss my pants? Oh my god, I can't even feel my lower half. If I actually piss my pants, please don't tell me. What? Why was he, like, talking? Bye, friends. I have to say, this is the longest I've survived. Damn this heat. I can feel it pulsing off the sand, pushing me upwards. I swear I could fly. Like I could just lift my wings and... talking he's not right no I can't even examine him anymore ah. Pump's guide. Nope. What's that? Cellar combination. Locker. One panel. Got a lot of blank spaces in your memory there, friend. I'm just gonna die, by the way. There's not much I can do. <laughs> He's looking at it like, huh. So that's how you do it. Huh, how'd you open it? It's the longest I've lived. I'm gonna talk to everyone this time because everyone's starting to act really weird. Gary! Hey, um, remember earlier when you asked me how I was doing and I said things were good? I'm shocked you remember it, <laughs> remember it since it happened a death or two ago. Yeah, sure. Well, things are good. A little too good. 
I have this thought I just can't get out of my head. It's like when things are going conspicuously well for a character on a TV show, and you know they're going to die before the end of the episode. Um, you're waiting for the other shoe to drop? Yeah, and crush my head or something. I relate, Gary, but this doesn't sound like you. That's what my mom says, but things change, I guess, right? I want out of this place. House is kind of wild, huh? Oh yeah, isn't this place fucking wild? These are incandescent lights. Can you believe that? I hope Pete is okay. Has anyone heard from Pete? I don't know. None of us do. I thought he'd be the first one here on the first day. What's happening? <sighs> Killing time, working on dinner, a one out. This place is amazing. I feel like I'm in a dream. I'm not trying to stay there talking to you just to be polite. It's just the dialogue options are getting real weird. I just shook everything on my desk somehow. Hey, Megan. Hey, Em. Earlier, I put ice in a red cup of Shasta Cola and felt a pang of nostalgia. Like, remember having to put ice in drinks to survive- Remember having to put drinks- Ice in drinks to survive the summer? Uh, when you're a kid, the inside of a freezer feels like an impossible miracle. Uh, yeah, and ceiling fans. Yeah. Fans in general, honestly. The sound of a fan feels so 90s to me. Which I guess is just how nostalgia works. Um, I feel the same way about black mold. Something about the smell of black mold brings me back to my childhood. It reminds me of my childhood bedroom. When I was a kid, my sisters in my room had this unbearable wallpaper. A red nested square pattern. It looked like The Shining or some shit. I remember lying in bed, tracing the lines for hours and never finding a way out. Wow. Probably mentally snap right back into that frustration, right? Oh god, yeah. Uh, if I was an actor, I would use it to make myself cry. When I think about that, I feel like I'm there. Like it's the past. That's the goal. There's a liberating quality to it. Uh, there's a liberating quality to it that I think gets kind of misplaced. Like all of us on the last Perseids trip. Drinking beers in a parking lot by a giant hot dog, waiting in the ER to get Francine her stitches. It was boring, I guess, but nah. Drinking beer in a parking lot next to a giant hot dog. Even though we didn't technically plan it that way. Right? It's boring. To be honest, I kind of feel that way about the whole Perseids thing. Who cares about, like, a ritual? Parker Nest. I mean, you guys are super meaningful to me, but staring at the sky isn't. The experience felt old even if it wasn't. I guess the appeal of a meteor shower is that it's a rarefied experience. Uh, let's do a more indoor kid get-together next time. Yes, absolutely. Let's have a land party. What is happening? This place is- This is pretty much the plan, sitting here in gaming. Working on dinner. One out. Uh, guess I'll have major 7th guest vibes. Hope Pete is okay. I'll talk to you soon. Because I know this is just gonna loop. Nope. Okay. Gotta open it with a specific hand. Hi, Cliff. Look who's here. Hi, Emily. What is happening? Probably doing whatever. I want out. I guess. Oh, Pete's okay. Has anyone heard from Pete? I don't know. He's not here. Okay, so your dialogue loops. We'll open to a page, a fees will incur if we don't follow the rules. Failing to follow the rules, incurring a fee, is listed as one of the rules that incurs a fee. Monty shush. This is still seven pages. Let's get that going. I always think it's the garage door that it opens. Okay. On. God. It's her running around. It's like echo, 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 echo. And when I'm being chased by something, it makes me feel like there's a thousand other people chasing me. Monty, you're fine. Hey, Gary. You're not here just for me, Emily. Why don't you talk to the other kids? Why are they all, like, so dickish about it? 
I still really want to get the teal one done. Like, yeah, I know the yellow one will free me, but I want to know about the teal one. You said that they can't touch. Okay. Nope. You? Okay. Um... Bow, bow, bow. Loops into nothing. Loops into something. Holy shit, I got one. Oh, nope, too far. Why? Sorry again if my mouse has been on screen for a bit. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Okay, it's on here now. Okay. So something upstairs opened. It was like this way. There's the cable. Okay. Monty, you're fine. Okay. Help. I just need that one to go away. Take one step closer and two steps back. So I'm guessing I have to light up the those ones. And not like the rest. I never know how this works. I also just got excited because I thought it meant I did something, but <laughs> nope. Oh, it's Francine. It's like, what the fuck? What's up? I hate this place. We gotta get out of here. Let me get the power back on. We're in the kitchen. This place sucks. We're never gonna see Pete again. Oh yeah, it's on an un uninterruptible power supply. Computer's broken. 
That's the number 12 outlined. Next to the keypad diagram, there's a sticky note. All that's on it, written in thin, open block letters, 12. Monty! Go lay down. Look out window. Spooky. Okay. Yeah, I looked at the flyer. God. I'm like, did I look at that? Yeah, yeah, you did, Berlin. Okay. Back here. Sorry if I'm infuriating everybody with my lack of ability to do these fucking puzzles. It's just not my strong suit. So he doesn't come from right there. Yeah, it's fine. Reset it. It's fine. <sighs> At least the jump stairs aren't getting me as much this time, although I'm sure that's less fun to watch. Hey, Pete. Hi, Emily. Jeez, things are rough, aren't they? So, Emily, do you want to hear a secret? Yes. Good. The living room power box buttons flip the positions of the two tiles closest to them. You need to kick. I know that. Bye for now. It's just to connect plus to plus and negative to negative because he wants me to unlock the door, but I want to figure out the secrets. Okay. Fuck my friends. None of them have anything to say. We go downstairs. This will be my first thing I do every single time now, unless I forget. Always got to keep that open in case I forget. Beep, beep, beep. Beep. Okay. Although I do wish uh, it would just auto do the slide puzzle for me now. Because... Nope, I don't remember it. Okay. So I had the plus over there and a curve. So, nope. Plus is over here. Wait. Yep. Looking good so far. What about this one? I had that going there. The wiggly one was on the end. Except for that went there. Okay. And do a big loop de loop. Which I'm not doing. Nope. I think that's why my mouse gets on screen. Alright. So go down. And up to make like a backwards nine. Okay. Close, but it's that one. There we go. 
What updated? You. Attic door lights. Eh. Now you go futz with that. Now I'm just gonna try. Okay. This is maddening for anybody. Um, tell me how to do it then. As these games are not my strength. God, I just need one. Okay. Okay. I realize I kind of figured it out there at the end. Memory logs updated, hopefully. Yeah. Salmon note. Parker, again, I was locked out of the attic because I couldn't solve your little puzzle. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Don't understand what's so difficult about it. Next time you need to get in the attic, just press the buttons in this order. I'm not saying I want to guide. Uh, I'm not saying I want a guide to your puzzle. I'm saying I would install a normal lock. Okay. Did you remember that? Yes. Good. Alright, time to see what I can find. Ah, things. Oh, the, lights, the power still works. I got up here nice and quick. Oh, that looks safe. Okay. That's that one. Okay. There's literally nothing else to look at right there. A broken exposed wire. Touching this would be very bad. Yeah, no, no shit. Oh, oh there's that that I saw earlier. Check machine. Sounds like opening this machine made something break downstairs. I don't know what the code is. What is all this stuff? It's like some kind of messed up science experiment. I can't figure this stuff out now. I've got to get out of here. But if figuring it out gets you out now. Okay. I think that's it for inspecting up here. I got a lot, but also not as much as I thought I would. Bim, bim. No one even wants to know about the cool things I'm finding. So I go and talk to them, I say the same five things. All right. Gary. Hey, I'm... Uh, I'm shocked you remember this since the last time. Since it happened a death or two ago. It's the exact same sentence. I think I have that too. It's called fatalism. That's what my therapist said. This is about him. Um, feeling like things are going too well. I relate, Gary, but this doesn't sound like you. That's what my mom says. But things change, I guess, right? I'll talk to you soon. Cool. Nope, it's lightning time. Okay, solved you. This didn't break. No, I still don't think I have enough information for that. But I do now have this. I believe was this. Where am I? The blue cable disappears through the wall here. Guess I need to figure out how to get through this door. Not budging. I think the locking mechanism is controlled by a nearby device. Okay.
a relatively short list of names dated months apart. At the bottom of the list, Ness, comma, Parker M. What am I hearing? Ness's handwriting is manicured and perfect. None of the other names are in the first, uh, last first format, and none of the other others list a middle initial. So it was, it was Parker M. Nest. Okay. Okay. Remember those, Emily. No, I don't know why. Getting everywhere. Gary, I found your jacket in the little blue room today. I put it in my locker. You can have it back next time I see you. Please don't leave stuff in my steam tunnels again. At least not in the little blue room. You know I hate the little blue room. Gary? Like, Gary? Oops. Guess this is a map. But it looks like a maze or a dungeon or something. How big is this place? Okay. I can go through here. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Got it. That room will kill me. Understood. Cliff sure was giving you a hard time last night. You mean when he was ribbing me about ribbing me about burning to death? I think he thought he was helping. Tough love. Could have at least apologized. Pretty sure he was waiting for me to thank him. Anyway, thanks for sticking up for me. Really appreciate it. Of course, you would have done the same thing for me. Remember the time we were trapped at Brock Ridge Mall waiting for the storm to pass? Yeah. Actually, I was just thinking about it. Maybe because of the torrential rain. The parking lot was shaped like a bowl with the mall at the center and the sewers clogged. They wheeled in a generator to keep the lights on while they waited, waited for the city to bring in a pump to drain all the water. It took so long we ended up having to stay the night. I remember trying to sleep with the sound of the generator, as if the worry wasn't already keeping me awake. Yeah, for a while you seemed really stressed. You were sure the dome would break and the water would pour in, like it was the end of the world or something. You weren't scared? I didn't love it, but I think I liked getting closed off like that. Always nice to have fewer variables, you know? Being able to focus on one big, scary unknown kind of distracts from all the other little unknowns. I tried to think about it like one of those CD-ROM puzzle games we used to play. That's really smart. I almost let all the uh, I almost let all the worry get to me, but you were so cheerful, so brave that I ended up having kind of a good time. Even though you know we could have drowned. Oh, Emily. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just... I'm just wondering what would have happened if it had kept flooding. If the city hadn't been able to stop it. Like, could we have done anything about it? Or would we just be out of luck? Why are you so suddenly so worried about something that already happened? Sure, things went fine that night. But what about next time? You mean, next time we're trapped in a flooding mall? There's just their bodies. Oh, bye Francine. The moon is blocking the rain. As it often does. Look at her go. Man, I was solving so many things and so quick. And then I died on nothing. Alright. Let's start this chain of events again. Would you stop doing that? Two, seven, eight. Eh. Eh. Okay. All right. I almost went past it. Uh, check power box. On. Might as well take care of this while I'm down here. I have to say, for someone who is so secretive, I'm kind of surprised um, he allowed one of his passwords to have a double, double number right next to each other. Well, 
I'll lose my damn mind. I know I'm trying to move fast. So it's just like, ugh, when I don't. Okay, let's bring that up again. All right. Plus in the corner, both the corner ones. I want to keep you there. Okay, plus in the corner, both the corner ones. Gary, you scared the crap out of me. Corner ones. Wig- or, uh, corner. Corner, wiggly. Corner, corner, wiggly. Uh, wiggly. Corner, corner. That way or the other way? This way. Um, corner, wiggly, corner. Okay, that one works. And then wiggly, corner, corner. Nope. There we go. Okay, it says it's updated and it's like, for what? here anymore? I mean, eventually, but I have other puzzles. I'll just keep it open just in case. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Not that one's solved. Make sure there's nothing in here that I've forgotten about. See, it's not on right now. I guess maybe it just turns on when the power goes off. No. Okay. Opening doors for all the good it does. I feel like there had to be more to that one, too. Okay. As far as I know, these so far seem to just draw him to you. So you can kind of escape another way. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with those. As like nothing I'm clicking works. Whatever. Two here. So I wasn't done investigating before I just died. And the next time I see Pete, he's gonna be like, cool, you figured out the lock, but it's the wrong fucking one, dude. So it just looks like that, right? Yeah. So you've decided to live forever. Is this it? Is it all you've ever wanted? Don't worry. It's not gonna hurt. It's going to take a long time. Why it's good you chose to be this way. This is where you belong. We've been waiting for you. This is the only logical conclusion, and you're very smart to be where you are right now. The Five Commandments. Heaven is already inside you. Gross. There's nothing wrong with lying to yourself. Toxic. You never have to feel bad ever again. Manipulative. There are no mirrors where you are going. I'm indifferent to that one. Nobody is going to miss you. Horrible. Smile, you're here forever. Published by Corporal Works of Patronage and Mercy. Solid. Did I just open this one? I didn't go in here before. Ah, oh, cool. A new place to hide. Oh, it doesn't do much, does it? I think he could see me.
I guess it's just an old analog clock. Seems to reflect the current time. I'm wondering what happened to the other time clock it's gone. Minnie's boy took it, said he was going to experiment with it for some kind of art project. So frustrating. We all have to line up single file to punch out every day. Just because some pompous kid wanted to make some weird combination lock. Okay, so that one's just the clock. Paint stuff. Start here. Breaking the Mold, a must-see new art exhibit for from the Society for the Schoenmeyer Trust and Associates Entities. The scent of burning plastic would typically be cause for alarm in the halls of an art gallery, but the latest exhibit from the Weintraub Center is anything but typical. If you follow that warm, crayon-like smell through the halls of the Lindsay H. Drollet Gall Gallery, you'll find yourself in a small room occupied only by a device the size and shape of a cigarette machine. Artist Clara Jones conceived of the idea from a trinket left on a windowsill that melted in the sun. Inspired, she combined her background in engineering with her passion for machinery to craft this curious device. I wanted to capture that pure feeling of anticipatory, anticipatory joy you have as a child, feeding pennies into a machine that ultimately spits out a disappointing metal curve, and you cherish it anyway. Jones is coy when I ask how the machine works, but it gives the piece an air of magic. She simply says the molds are made of a material that erode in the presence of plastic. Uh, the first few casts of the day are pristine, finely crafted figurines or figures with a surprising level of detail. By the end of the night, the machine belches out distorted forms that might seem more at home in a dolly painting. Joan says these are her favorites, and patrons seem to agree. The room swells with people near closing time. They all return from their, co from their commune with the machine. A new toy in hand and a sparkle in their eyes, the author included. I was able to interface with the machine last night in a fortuitous lull in the crowd. It is a piece which invites you to play. The fine details of the casing, the satisfaction of pressing its buttons, the chunking of the inner workings, the total experience does make one feel like a child again, vacationing and happy. After a minute, it chirped pleasantly and presented me with a pink, waxy shape. There's a certain beauty to it, as if it were a hard candy sucked smooth, as if the form ha as if the form eroded against a millennia of desert wind. I'm not quite sure what it was supposed to be, but I'm glad it's this. A nominal f admission fee for one dollar covers the expenses to run the machine. An ex uh, the exhibit will run until September, whereupon it will be returned to the Weintraub Center's permanent collection. Parker, I saved the last print. Uh, I saved the last print of the last day just for you. See. Don't forget, the combination for this door is posted on the bulletin board by the generator. I don't know how it got lost in the hedge maze last time. It's not a big hedge maze, but the combination's there if you need it. By the generator? Okay. Oh, it's Minesweeper again. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Am I just never going to win this? <sighs> yeah, I think it's broken. Zero, zero, X, 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 X. Okay, that's for the elevator, I think. Did you save that? Beautiful doodly. Yes. Minesweeper clue. <laughs> I think that's for the elevator, though. Yeah. Hide, light switch, open door. Okay. Examine plaque. Oh my. Smithson Museum of Botanical Gardens. This studio space made possible thanks to a generous endowment from Bertram S. Minnie Nest, 1955. So, Parker's mom? Is 
that's locked. Yeah, because there's something here. Do I have another four-digit code? So I've wandered a lot of weird places, so... Nope. Pump guide. Front door lock. That's that. Nothing down there. I can't interact with anything over here. Okay. Wait, where did the note say it was? Don't forget, the combination for this door is posted on the bulletin board by the generator. So is that back in just the cellar? I don't know how it got lost in the- How you got lost in the hedge, ma hedge maze last time. It's not a big hedge maze, but the combination's there if you need it. So there's a hedge maze. Okay. Bulletin board. This is the area where I died. Not right there, but closely. More! Bulletin board! Look at computer. Applicant, Parker Nest. Application fee plus donation paid. Administration notes. Parker is not unlike a typical applicant for our society. And across a range of so social descriptors and pedigrees, he does appear to be a model applicant. However, after spending much time with him, I'm convinced that his suitability seems to be based on a carefully curated and performed set of behaviors, all structured around a simple assumption. He's convinced he deserves to be here. On multi multiple occasions where I attempted to reach out to him, he instead jumped to prove his knowledge of our organization was greater than my own. How could anyone be so obsequious and so arrogant at the same time? Application status denied. So you've decided to live forever. Is this just the same one? Um, yep, same thing. That's it? There's so many post-its I want to look at, though. That doesn't bring up anything. Fine. No. Oh yeah, Gary's jacket. I'm not going in there. You can't fool me again. Oh, those lit up this time. Okay, so it seems to kind of change. But until I know I'm not going to immediately die. Oh, is he upstairs? What? Who's you? What? Someone used it. Check machine. This is machine three. It doesn't have a code. else to look at right here. <sighs> okay. The generator's back in the normal part of the basement. It's not up in the attic. Wish I could close doors. It would make me happy. Can't do anything with that. That's been opened.
Am I just gonna die again? Oh, hell yeah! There's the blue room that someone mentioned. That's red. I don't like him. I don't Ugh. Ugh. Heh. Man, I feel like I learned a fuck ton. Are you just going to tell me to open the correct side? So, Emily, you want to hear a secret? Yeah. Good. The living room power box buttons flip positions to the to tiles closest to them. Yeah, I know, Pete. What? So why are you doing this? What? Why are you helping me? Why do you think I would want to hurt you? I'm so hesitant to try the other one because I don't want the game to just end. But I'm sure I... I mean, if I have the knowledge in my own personal brain, then I might be able to do some stuff and just come back. All right, let's go try the other one. Let's go see if I can't power the lock. This area right here is the fucking worst for me. And this whole camera angle thing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just staring at the guide, making sure, or seeing if any of it is weird? I don't know. You, you. I want to do it that way, though. Mm. Okay, you're still connected. Um... Um. Nope. 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 Mm. No. Okay. That one's short and sweet. They're connected. Now. The other one. Um. Ugh, I'm having a hard time just following this cable. Okay. Eh. So it ends here right now. I don't think I can just switch these. No. Don't know why I keep switching those. That doesn't matter. Yay! I tell anyone? So what the hell made you decide on broiled eggplant? Last time we were together and you insisted on cooking for everybody, you made an enormous pork roast. If I had a bone going through- it had a bone going through it like a cartoon. Isn't Megan a vegetarian? Oh yeah. I sure just try to be accommodating to your friends. That's really sweet, Cliff. I'm not saying that's not why but I've been trying to put as much of my calories and protein intake into the first half of my day as possible so that I can spend the rest of the day burning it off. 
surprised it's the all bean diet all over again. In the morning, yes. For dinner, eggplant's a low calorie entree choice. A little low protein, but whatever. Veg vegetarian thing is good, too. It's good, too, though. Definitely knew about that. Gary got the front door open. Psyched to be heading out to nature tonight, Cliff. Oh. Never would have expected you to say that. I'm psyched, too. Oh, God, you still can't hear me. Gonna gather kindling and everything. All that shit. That's the spirit. Someone else has to be able to understand. Megan. Hey, Emily. Do you anything about dark industrial tunnels filled with steam? Didn't Gary work in the steam tunnels that run under our school? He'd probably know more. Front door's open. Ugh. Do you have any other cool games to show me? Yeah, I bet I do. Appreciate you taking an interest. Like old times, huh? I can please, please don't tell me you can't hear me. Yeah, like old times. <laughs> we don't have much time. I don't have much time. Thank you, Megan. Did I try just talking to Cliff? Hey, little buddy. Hey, Emily. What's happening? I was hoping I could engage with him on it, but... Francine. Francine, please say you can hear me. Uh, Francine, you can hear me. Emily, what have you been up to around here? Sorry? I just get the feeling you're doing things you shouldn't be doing. That you shouldn't be capable of doing. We need to get out of here somehow, Francine. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm sorry. I'm not asking you to be sorry, Emily. I'm asking you to help make sense of this. I, I don't think I can. And neither can I. The front door's open, Francine. The house is amazing. I'm glad I'm here. Glad you're here too, Emily. Even if things are a little weird, I think this trip will be a positive turning point in all of our lives. I don't know. Please. Yeah. There's nowhere else I'd rather be right now. Same here, Emily. Thank you. Uh, same here, Emily. That you feel this way is really meaningful to me. I'm gonna come back for you, Francine, for all of you. Yeah. I'm leaving. So I want to see what kicks off. Whoa. Oh, I hate that sound. Oh. <sighs> I can't move, by the way. Ah, oh, that's so weird. Uh, this game is so cool. I got an achievement for escaping the house. You! Hello, Emily. It is Emily, right? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're Parker Nest. I saw you at the gas station. At least, I think I did. Right. Do you feel strange spending so much time in my home? Your home? We're not really in a mountain retreat in Pennsylvania. That place isn't your home. Is not Rome still Rome? Are these really the last days of the Roman Empire? Please make sense. Tell me, when that creature, the homunculus, when it attacks you, do you feel it? Do you feel anything when you die? Is this just like a mannequin that's like attacking? Oh, if so, that's kind of cool as hell and terrifying because there's so many mannequins around. Uh, homunculus? Is that what that thing is? I imagine you must blame me for what's happening to you. Frankly, I do too. Find to whom this cruel world appears, and you will know why it appears so cruel. In the attic, you'll find a device I've built. Something Burroughs told me about something before he pissed off to Tangiers. Called an accumulator. Supposed to aid in cellular reassembly. I built it believing it would extend my halcyon days. Of course, I was in my 50s. 
I should have known that time was already behind me. Still, I hoped it would help regain some of the feeling I once had. Naturally, it didn't. So is Nest the one killing us through his homunculus? Instead, over time, it made the house. It made you. It made that thing, the homunculus. And it made a liar out of me. The only comfort that brings me... The only comfort that brings me regarding the predicament I seem to have gotten you into is that it keeps creating and recreating you. But it won't last forever. In fact, I suspect the mere fact that we're having this conversation now is a sign that both of us are in some kind of hot water. The Accumulator is the maker of the world in which we live. It alone can change it, or unmake it. Shit, dude, this game's so cool! Yeah, I know where that is. That's so cool looking. Okay. What? Is it all just like done now? Do I not need to do the puzzles? That would be wonderful. Nope, I still have to do some of them. Probably just the teal cable thing. Actually, can I do it without having to turn on the cable? Because as long as it has power, I don't see why I shouldn't be able to. Yeah. What was this note again? Oh, it's this. Okay. else I can oh blueprints of the weird machine in the middle of the room it's is that the is that thing nests accumulator three cables run power into the accumulator from elsewhere in the house two generators and a weird machine I guess all that power flows into the machine I should follow the cables to find where the power comes from Well, that one's busted. I know this. Something like open the machine. I have to go see what it broke. Okay, I opened that. Something broke. I should go figure out what that was. In here, maybe? The computer's already broken, so it's not that. That's not open yet. Okay. I don't quite know where the accumulator is hanging over, but... Oh no, did it break the duck? It did! There's a broken piece of glass on the ground. It looks like there are letters on it, but it doesn't spell anything. S-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. broken glass piece came from here. The lamp opened up when I used the machine in the attic. Okay. You all really went in on the artificial stuff, huh? Our receipt was half fruit snacks. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this weekend. I don't usually eat that stuff, but it just feels right right now. I understand that a lot whenever I go on, like, little trips or something. It's like, well, now's the time to get all the junk food I don't get anymore. For no reason. Sure. Nostalgia and all that. Sure. I love artificial stuff, though. Like blue raspberry. Blue raspberry doesn't make sense. It's literally not based on anything. There's no such thing as blue raspberry, but we're comfortable with it entirely as a product. Pink lemonade is the same. It's alien and bizarre, and that's why I love it. Actually, pink lemonade is a traditional drink, I was about to say. Historically, it gets its pink color from strawberries or with the addition of sumac. And sumac is actually a plant that grows around here. Oh shit. None. Hi, Emily. Oh, hey, Emily. Gary, didn't you used to work in the steam tunnels under our school? Sure did. 
Some questions. First off, what are steam tunnels? And second, why are steam tunnels? Good questions. Short answers? Uh, and I don't know. I mean, I kinda know. Back in the 50s, these tunnels under the college were for steam heat for the dorms and classrooms. Something in the 70s that mostly gets replaced with gas and electric. Sometime in the 70s that mostly gets replaced with gas and electric. But the tunnels are still there and still producing steam. In the 90s, they start using those tunnels for network infrastructure instead. But some young IT kid still needs to run through those tunnels to maintain the coax and RJ45s, right? So when I was working IT for the school, that was part of my job. And my supervisor was very casual when he told me that if I walked into certain parts of those tunnels at certain times, I would die. Uh, how did you avoid the steam work? It's pretty simple. Sections of the tunnels were color-coded, and the maps in that area had lights that lit up in a sequence. When a room's matching light was on, it was full of deadly steam. So it was mostly internalizing the sequence, picking a safe room, and waiting it out until it was safe to leave again. And then spending a few years suppressing the memory of it. One out. Eh. Okay. So... It's WDW something, and I'm wondering if it's... No, I was gonna say I'm wondering if it's like letters of the alphabet, so like one, two, three, but I don't think that's gonna make sense. I don't think we go far into the 20s. Eh. Down we go. Round and round. Just cause. For old time's sake. Okay, this I still don't know. Nope, not machine. Check. Keep it. Okay. That's not the tunnels. Tunnels are here. Okay. So I just have to like pay attention. Okay, so right now, okay, let's just do like Gary said, stay out of the color coded room if it's lights on. Wait for it, uh, and wait it out in the gray rooms until it's safe. Okay. That's red. Okay. What did it just do? Right now it's yellow and red. But what's it going to be next? If blue's involved, I'm going to wait. I kind of want to see the cycle. So it's blue, yellow. Or red, yellow. Red, blue. Blue, yellow. I should be safe this next round. Yeah, see, there's, like, mannequins everywhere. Okay, it's saving, so I'm taking that as a good sign that I'm not about to be in the wrong one. Fuck yes. Is there really nothing in here I can investigate? What is it? It's yellow. So is it blue, yellow next, then red, yellow? Yep. Red, yellow. So I'm good on the next one. I don't know if I'm safe. Yeah. I should have waited. Should have gone the other way. I have to pay more attention to the map and actually, like, put that in my head. I think I have a picture of it, but 
So at that point, I look at Gary and say, that makes two of us. And Gary clearly wants to break, uh, wants to back down. But I don't want to back down. And we stare that guy down until he backed off. You intimidated him? Nah, he never wanted to fight. Turned out he was joking. Huh. So that happened at the roadhouse, huh? Ugh. Too much soda. Yep. Huh. I haven't been to the roadhouse since we were all there together. The first time we watched the Perseids. That must have been, what, like, three years ago? Yep. Glad you had occasion to grace us with your presence again. Well, my grandma died very conveniently. You wouldn't have come otherwise? And I thought Pete was the flaky one. Um, I've really been anxious about coming here. I've been busy. God, I can lie in these two on accident. So relax. We're supposed to be having fun here. We'll drink out of dirty glasses and watch some falling space garbage, and it'll be great. But isn't the bar just outside of town? Where are we going? We're going to the site where I've been working. Why? And why are you telling me this now? We're going to get to the bar way after everybody else. I told the others a later start time. I wanted to make sure I didn't have uh, to pick up my last check alone. Your last check? Last time we talked, you seemed crazy about that job. Last time we talked was like 14 months ago. My mom owed me some money. It's fine. Okay. Oh, Cliff. Wait, didn't we just pass the Riverside exit? Isn't that where you said the site was? Do you know what day it is, Emily? August 13th? Friday, August 13th. So what? You're superstitious now? Wait. Are you afraid to go back there? Is that why you quit? Nobody sticks around those types of jobs long. You either work a decade, tear your body up, or you quit before you're in too deep. Uh huh. Buddy of mine, Martin, kind of an older guy, wife, two kids. He's spotting another guy, Brian, as he's bringing in a dump truck full of gravel, laying a foundation. The truck hits a bun bunch of rebar, the scaffold, uh, the scaffold collapses, Martin falls into the pit, and the truck tips behind him, just enough to dump all of the gravel on top of him. He's chest deep in gravel now, but his arms are free. He's responsive, feeling okay. Miracle. But it turns out, I mean, that's 18 tons of gravel in there with him, right? All that weight, it's pushed all the oxygen in his blood up to his brain. And below the waist, he's crushed. He's just one big bruise. When they pull him out of there, all that blood's gonna go racing to his legs. He's gonna go into shock and his brain's gonna die. So this is it. They bring in his family, explain the situation. They hug him, they say goodbye, and they winch him out and... He's gone. Do you know what happened in Signs? I wouldn't know. I've never seen Signs. Christ, that's awful, Cliff. They really pulled him out like that? You don't believe me? No, I believe you. It's just... It happened. It happened to somebody I know, Emily. And it's gonna happen to me. Either I live hard and die young like Martin, or I become a lumpy old asshole like my dad. Eyes on the road. Yes, please. Uh, I'm not gonna let that happen to you. We're gonna get out of here. Sorry, Cliff. Get sad. Don't mention it. I'm sorry, too. Wait, where are we? How long have we been driving for? Okay. That was... something. Got a lot of memories this time. Like, like front door lock. No. Not anymore. Well. I do believe that ends my stream for the night. And holy shit is this game good. I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to get through more of the puzzles and try and figure it out and just get out of the house. 
because Nest was saying that the homunculus created me, so it's like, am I, the player, just playing through, like, a character in a game that's not real? They don't exist in that world. Or is it just creating this time loop that we're stuck in and putting me in it every time? Oh, I want to know. Oh, I'm definitely going to play this more on Monday. Um, might actually hit the end. I don't know how much is left. I'll make sure I have a backup game um, ready to go. Probably going to find something uh, on the same kind of creepy level just because I don't think I'll want to immediately go to like gas station simulator or something. But... Ah, this game is good. Please share, like with your friend, like with your, like, share with your friends, subscribe, um, go out and buy the game. Like, I know you're watching me play it, but it's still a lot of fun to figure it all out and give yourself a little bit of time. You'll forget all of the puzzles and then I'll be fine. But, um, streaming next week's going to be a bit weird, actually. I know I said Monday, but next week is the Mariners are back in town, so my streaming schedule is going to be a little weird, but I'm going to try and get this one finished because I don't want to go too long and forget everything because I was rapid going through all the puzzles to get like where I wanted to go and want to keep that momentum. So I'm going to look at the baseball schedule, see what days um, my housemate and I are going to be going to games and try and schedule around that. I will post on my Twitter um, when I'm going to stream, which is down there. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Definitely go follow me over on YouTube. All of my stream VODs go up, and this one will be up probably tomorrow, some point during the day. Because I'm probably not going to sit and do all of the editing and cutting down for tonight. But uh, YouTube has my first episode for this. It has a bunch of games I've played in the past however many months I've it's been since I started streaming. But I've had a lot of fun with a ton of games, and I love to share them. I recommend um, I Live Under Your House and Milk Inside of a Bag of Milk and Milk Outside a Bag of Milk, which that one just went up yesterday and has been doing well. So recommend those. They're great games, great videos. Um, they're all contained into one episode, so there's like... Uh, I Live Under Your House is one, Milk Inside a Bag of Milk is one, and Milk Outside of a Bag of Milk is one. There's probably going to be a second one to that last one, though, because there's a lot of story I missed. Um, yep, feel free to follow. I have a Kofi. If you have some money to spare, I'm always, you know, in need of some income to buy games and fix my update systems and do whatever I can to just keep streaming and keep YouTubing, keep Let's Playing. So, yeah, I mean, if you have money, if not, share it around, subscribe, tell your friends. I just, I want to find a community that also is really digging these games and just kind of have my, my little, my little group. But until then, I have been Cuba's Horse. This has been episode two of Homebody. And until next time, goodbye.